I'm just mashing sweet potato to give to chickens. This is my glamorous life. I'm going to add some oats and other little delicious bits for them. And I'm going to warm it through. And when we get back from the school run with Phoebe in a bit, we will give this to the chickens nice and warm as a nice little healthy vegetable afternoon treat. They can see me mashing or they can hear me mashing and they're all walking backwards and forwards going, bog? <laughs> it's Thursday and I thought this week I would just do a couple of days in the life type vlog. The first thing to say about my life is my tripod is broken and therefore is really wonky. Let me try and sort it out. Is that any better? It feels like it's not as wonky. And I've just been out and about. I had a few errands to run and a minor doctor's appointment and so on. And whilst I was out, I popped to the library and I got some books, which I shall share with you in a minute. And Thursdays are good because there are no clubs or classes or anything like that that the girls have to go to on a, a Thursday. So we can have quite a relaxed after school time sometimes phoebe will have a friend round or something um, and i'm hoping to do a bit of baking we've got some gin uh dan likes gin i don't and we've got a couple of bottles that he doesn't really like we've got some aldi's spice plum gin and then a gin that i made from a kit that someone must have given me at some point and I don't know what to do with it. They're both open, so it's not like we can give it to someone really. So I want to find things to make with it. And I found a recipe for a gin and tonic cake, which involves gin. So if it's quite nice, I'll be able to use the gin up. I've said gin so many times now. Uh, making some cake over the next, you know, I could make cake and take it into work, for example. So, um... I'm going to try and give that a go later this afternoon, hopefully. I wanted to say thank you for such a positive response on my last two videos that I released, especially the video on habits that did and didn't work for me in 2021. Thank you to everybody who was so positive and so lovely. And yeah, it was really nice to connect with you in that way. Chopping up spinach now. And just thank you for creating such a lovely positive community that we seem to to have here and I know it sounds really kind of sappy and silly when podcasters say that but it's true it's lovely to read your positive comments and your ideas I was, I've got a whole list that I've created on Amazon now which is all books that people recommend to me I put them all in a big list on my Amazon so that when I'm looking for a, a good idea for a birthday, if someone asks me or something, I can go to that list and give people ideas, which is one of the reasons why I got The Foundling by Stacey Halls for Christmas. Anyway, I'm just waffling on now. I've got to get on with mixing up my very odd and slightly odd smelling concoction, which is looking like this. <laughs> so that it's ready to dish out to the, the hens when we get back.
I really want to get it. And I really hope you win it. <laughs> very happy, very messy chickens. <laughs> It's about eight o'clock in the evening. I'm not sure how it got to eight o'clock. I'm still not even in my pajamas and I'm normally in my pajamas way before now. I'm at a bit of an awkward angle because I get good light from the lamp here in the living room. And I just wanted to show you the books about which I know nothing that I got from the library. So I popped to the library because I was watching um, Le Petit Saint Crochet's channel and she was talking about this book. So I, I had a look and my local library had it. So. It's only a little book. It's by Margareta Magnusson. It's The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning, How to Free Yourself and Your Family from a Lifetime of Clutter. I always feel like I'm clearing out all the time. So I love stuff like this. It gives me a bit of inspiration. Here's the front cover. Oh, you're gonna get a lot of glare because of that lamp. It's good for the dark circles under my eyes. Not so good for showing shiny books. <laughs> So this is uh, the book that I got from the library. So thank you, uh, uh, Elise, for that inspiration. I'm gonna look forward to flicking through this. And then whilst I was in that section, I saw a couple of other books that caught my eye. So I thought, seeing as it was the library, it doesn't cost me anything, I would get those to take home and have a little flick through as well. So I got, oh, I should have looked up how to pronounce this. It's a Japanese word, ikigai, ikigai? I know I'm saying that wrong and I know I've got at least two people watching in Japan who will be able to correct me. So we're going to go with Ikigai. It's by Yukari Mitsuhashi, Giving Every Day Meaning and Joy. And it says on the back, the word Ikigai is formed of two Japanese characters, meaning life 
and meaning value or worth. So the two words combined then is the value of life or happiness in life. Put simply, it's the reason you get up in the morning. Now I have heard of this before and I find it very, very interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna, and it's a really pretty little book. It's got um, pretty little illustrations and uh, it, it just looks nice. It looks like a nice little book to read. So I'm hopefully gonna get some time to have a flick through that. And also something that caught my eye was a book by Deborah Robertson, Declutter, The Get Real Guide, to Creating Calm from Chaos. Now, I don't wanna give you the impression that I live in total um, clutter chaos, because I don't, but I do have a lot of sorting I want to get done this year. And one of my goals this year is to really sort out some of the stuff I've been putting off, like uh, my photo, audit i've got lots of you know actual photographs that we need i need to go through and create a proper albums and a proper archive so i don't just have boxes stuffed away filled with photos that we never look at i've got a big box of fabric that i really need to sort out and either use or work out what i'm going to do with and so on um that kind of thing so this kind of thing is just a bit of inspiration something to get me in the mood for doing it and i quite liked the few pages I flicked through, I found the, the way it was written quite good. So I'm going to have a little look through that one as well. So those are my three books. Declutter, Iggy Guy, which I'm probably saying wrong, and The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning. And I shall let you know how I get on with those as the vlogs go throughout the year. Right, I'm going to go and get my pyjamas on. And we're going to go and play with Play-Doh. Which, I know my kids are a bit old for that, but I found a bag of Play-Doh that we were getting rid of. Took it out the cupboard. What happened? We're going to end up playing with Play-Doh. Everyone suddenly has a revived interest in it. So that's what we're going to go and do now. It's Saturday. If you can hear munching in the background, it's because Phoebe's just opposite me having her lunch and I'm having mine, so I'm not going to talk for long. Uh, but it's Saturday. I didn't film anything yesterday, which was Friday, because I was in the office all day um, and it was pretty boring. So I thought I would start to film again today when I've got a bit more light to show you some things I want to show you. And what I've got on the table here is a couple of things. Uh, one is our Christmas book, which we keep as a family. It looks like this. I've got to make a few finishing touches to it before I can put it away for another year. We have been keeping this since 2009, so I'm going to give you a bit of an idea of what we do there. Um, and I'm going to put some Christmas cards inside it. Not all of those, but... And then I've got my old 2021 hardback diary here, which I started to use for my podcast planning last year, but didn't really use. It's a day, two days to a view, and I didn't find it very practical or useful. So I have decided to repurpose it into a life book, which I've been doing the last couple of years, which is just basically a cross between a sketch journal and a scrapbook, basically, of things I want to remember. But I'm going to up the ante on how creative it is. The other one that I was doing was very much just a diary, sticking stuff in, memorabilia. But this one I'm going to make a little bit more artsy-fartsy. And I was doing a bit of Googling and apparently a few years ago there was something called Smashbooks was a thing. 
so I took a bit of inspiration from that and a bit of inspiration from altered books and a bit of inspiration from junk journaling and I've started my own. So yesterday, or rather the day before, I went through and I thinned out the pages quite a bit. I tore some out so that I would have room to stick things in and it wouldn't get too bulky. And I've still got um, space to remove a few more pages if I want to. And I've started to create my very first page, which I will show you as soon as I've had my sandwich. I say sandwich, it's a toasty. And very delicious it is too. Okay, I finished my cheese toasty and it was lovely. Phoebe's still opposite me, so you might hear the occasional slurp or munching. So this is the Christmas book. This is something we started actually before 2009, but I lost the original one and then later found it. And in the meantime, I bought this hardback book, which is actually a lot better than the one we were originally using, decorated the front. And we've just added to it every year. Uh, now, a lot of the stuff in here is quite personal, so I'm going to flick to pages where it's... Well, I might just go quite fast. So everybody that comes for Christmas um, writes a little entry about the Christmas and what it was like and who was here and what they got. And I put in things like bits of napkins or Christmas pictures or things we did. Uh, maybe tickets from seeing Santa is another bit of a cracker pictures that the girls have done. Both the girls write in this as soon as they were old enough to do so they started to write in this. Um, so I'm flicking through really quickly and this year I've just got to do a few little things. I've started to put in some pictures. I'm going to put in a couple of little bits of Christmas cards. I'm going to cut them up and stick them in and I've got some photos I need to go and print at Boots so I can stick those in as well. And the idea is it builds up a record every year. So this is now into its, well, 2022 will be its, oh, hang on, I've got to work this out. So 2009, it'll be its 14th year this year. And it means we have a record of every Christmas we've spent together. So it started off when we were still having Christmas at my mum's house before she even moved. Then when we were having Christmas at my mum's new bungalow and then when we took over hosting Christmas, we've had different people join us in some years and they've written in the book. So that's what the Christmas book is. It's a record of our Christmases and it won't be long really until we come to the end of this book and we need to get a new one. But I think we are going to continue doing this for as long as we are able to because it's a really lovely thing to look through every year. So that is the Christmas book. This is what I've decided to call my smash book, uh, even though I think that's a bit of an outdated term. No, that, that's not fair, is it? Not outdated. I think it was a bit of a trend some time ago, but me never really being trendy. <laughs> just by saying trendy, proving I'm not trendy, um, have only just sort of discovered this as a concept. So I've been keeping a life book for quite some time, which looks like this. Oh, sorry, wobbling the camera there. This started off as a very practical thing. Phoebe's now eating crisps. She's eating skips for anyone that's interested. So you might hear the odd munch. Uh, so this started off as a very practical thing. Basically, when the pandemic broke out, I needed somewhere to make notes, to uh, keep track of things like homeschool, uh, what different places where the kids had to hand stuff in ideas for what we could do to keep everyone amused i was doing vlogging plans and so on and then it became a diary then it became somewhere to stick things that i, I got letters that i got from viewers because i was i did um vlogs over on my other channel um all throughout uh the pandemic and i got letters and things i saved things saved photographs when we went away on holiday printed out things that the kids did. I've got stamps from letters and I kept a diary constantly about what was happening and how the pandemic was progressing. This is stuff that was hung in our window and just so on. And it became fuller and fuller and even stuff, there's an envelope here at the back for stuff that doesn't fit in really. And uh, that's how it looks. This is my life book. And it's not a particularly creative thing. It was just an outlet and a way of recording our experiences as a family during the pandemic. But I really enjoyed doing it. And I do enjoy saving things from my life rather than buying things specifically for scrapbooking. I'd rather use found things and things that have meaning rather than buying 
um, things specifically to stick in for a scrapbook, if that makes sense. So it has evolved slightly into this. I am going to decorate the cover because obviously at the moment it says 2021 on it and it's 2022. So I need to do some kind of design on the front. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, whether I'm going to cover it, whether I'm going to paint it. I don't know. I might turn to YouTube for a bit of inspiration. And then the front was like a, you know, the, a year's planner in there. So I need to, I'm going to do something here to kind of do an introductory page to it. And then this is what I've been working on so far. So the first entry I've done is a page about the Wooldham Abbey Wool Show, which I did a vlog about over on my other channel, because obviously it's very wool and knitting and crochet based. And I cut out a load of things from the leaflet. I wrote a little diary entry. I did a little drawing and I, I didn't know what I was doing basically. So I prepped it with uh, gesso or gesso. I don't know how you say that because basically that's what my daughter Lilia does when she's doing stuff like this and also it's what I've seen people doing on YouTube. I've no idea the purpose of it, I think it's some kind of primer, it just feels like paint to me. So I did a couple of coats of that, it dried really quickly and then I just did some really messy um, gouache paints. Gouache is like a uh, opaque watercolour. Um, but I didn't use any water with it, I just sploshed it on, tried to match some of the colours that they use in the leaflets and then I just cut things out and stuck it down and it was the most fun I've had in ages. It only took me about half an hour to do but playing with glue and paint and stuff took me right back to being at school, it was amazing. So I've got two little things here, i just got to work out where I want to stick them or if I want to, I've got Jeanette Sloan's um, uh, card, business card and I've got the Brambles and Me one because I just really liked the... Uh, the logo. So I don't know whether I want to create a little thing where they can kind of stick in and move like that or if I want to find somewhere to stick them on the page. I need to work that out. And I've just done a bit of wassy tape randomly. I have no idea what I'm doing but I figured you've got to do it to learn how to do it. So I just jumped right in and started. A lot of the smash book stuff is random, like you would just open a random page and start filling stuff in. Now I cannot do that, that is completely against my very ordered way of being. I'm a chronological girl, so this is a January entry I'll, and then I'll just move through the days and years and fill them in in order because doing anything else makes me feel a bit twitchy. So it's kind of a cross between a scrapbook and a journal and just a really lovely thing to just play about with and that's going to be my so-called smash book that's what I'm going to call it or my life book I called it a life book before life smash smash light I don't know my playing about with glue and paint book for the foreseeable future omelette we're having a sale not to know, just move the angel delight out of the way <laughs> and they had these egg helter skelters which i thought looked really handy it means we can put the eggs that have just been laid here and the ones that have been laid the furthest back in date back in time uh, at the ends and then you take the egg out and then you can just gently move them all around it works really well uh, I wouldn't have normally got blue, but blue happened to be in the sale, so it was half the price of any of the other colours, so I thought, why not? So I've got a nice new handy egg storage. It holds about 24 eggs, which is brilliant. And I've just been parceling some up, well, putting them in egg boxes when I say parceling them up. And I'm going to go and leave some by the back gate and text the neighbours and say, eggs available if you want to come and grab them. <laughs>
more appliance noises, I've got the oven on now. <laughs> and that makes a noise like a 747 taking off. I'm about to start cooking dinner uh, and we're settling in for the evening. Lily is at her boyfriend's uh, house and we'll be collecting her a little bit later. So she, she's gonna stay there for dinner. Um, we're gonna have fajitas. So I'm using a recipe that's actually for chicken fajitas on the Jamie Oliver web website. It's called Easy Chicken Fajitas. There we go. And it's on the Jamie Oliver website. Uh, but obviously Dan and Phoebe are pescatarian. They don't eat chicken. So we're gonna do it with corn. And although the recipe calls for you to coat it in the uh, ingredients, it then tells you to put it on a griddle pan. Now that's not gonna work terribly well with corn. So what I do usually is put it on a baking tray and just cook it in the oven. And I've done that when we've had it with chicken or turkey um, as well in the past and it works really, really well. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna film a little, little bit of that, just a little bit. Oops, I'm gonna throw my phone down there. I'm gonna have a sip of my orange and lemon squash because I'm thirsty. And later on, I'm actually going to have some wine. And I haven't, until last night, I haven't had a glass of wine for the whole of January. I didn't set out to do dry January or anything. Oh my goodness, I have to move away. I've got such dark circles under my eyes, it's terrible. Uh, it's the lighting, honest. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I didn't set out to do dry January. Uh, so I had a, I just, just didn't feel like it. So I just haven't had a drink this month, but I did last night, I had a glass of rosé, it was very, very nice. So I'm gonna do the same again tonight. I don't like Saturdays, but I do like Sundays, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this vlog today, vlog, vlog, today or tomorrow. I'm not really sure what I've been talking about. I'll have to start editing it together and we'll see. So if I don't see you, I'll see you next time. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.